Hello, fabulous superstar Scorpio. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2020. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a remarkable astrological month without a doubt. There are big things happening in the sky and we are going to be feeling it right out of the gate. Late last month, we had a lunar eclipse. I did speak about that at some length in last month's video. But we're carrying that energy into this month as we are in a period between eclipses. And it is going to be the solar eclipse on the 14th that is not only going to bring eclipse season to an end, but also indicates very quick, very bright new beginnings. Now for you, this solar eclipse is taking place in a part of the sky that has to do with money that you earn, money that you spend. It is also connected to self-esteem and self-worth. So here are some things that I love about this solar eclipse. It is hand in hand with Mercury, which is a planet that speaks to synchronicity and ideas and communication and other people. This eclipse will also be speaking in supreme harmony with Mars. Now, I just love this energy. It is Mars right now that has slowly but surely been spending a whole lot of time in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life. And this includes the work that you are doing, your tasks at hand, the people who surround you there. And so as I look at this, I feel like this can represent some very quick moving, very surprise opportunity uh, to change in terms of your work, to move towards greater prosperity. But along with that may come a sense that you're leaving a particular role or a particular environment behind. That may be part of what feels uncertain. And yet there is promise, there is prosperity. Because this part of the sky that the eclipse is taking in can also speak to self-esteem and self-worth. And this daily part of the sky can also speak to how well you are living, how well you take care of you. Well, these can connect in very powerful ways now as you bring a greater sense of self-love and ground it in your daily activities and as you move through your life. Following the solar eclipse on the 17th, Saturn will move back into the very foundation of your chart, the sign of Aquarius, and it will be two days later that Jupiter will get there as well. And then on the winter solstice, the 21st of December, these two planets are going to meet in the sky. Now, this is a rare, very rare and special event. And when these two planets get together, it does suggest a dream materialized, becoming real, becoming embodied. I did speak about this great conjunction as the ancients called it at some length in the Saturn special horoscope and will be in the Jupiter special horoscope as well. So I'll link to it in the description below. We are going to end the month and thereby end the year with a truly beautiful energy that I think you are absolutely going to love. And this is a full moon that is taking place in fellow water sign Cancer. This is a part of the sky for you that is decidedly worldly. It has to do with exploration, whether that's the exploration of ideas, of philosophies, of spiritualities, or physically as well, knowing more of the world than you did before. Well, this full moon will be speaking in harmony with Uranus which does suggest excitement and luck and things moving very quickly at this time especially where it comes to things moving so that they come to a healthy and fortunate closure. Now, if it is that you are engaged in a legal matter, a political matter even, a matter having to do with higher education, uh, it is this full moon that can bring, whether it is good news or positive developments, uh, an immigration or citizenship matter as well can uh, turn out quite nicely for you at this time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, we have very big news now. And that is, of course, that it was last month that Venus entered your sign. This tends to mark one of the best periods to attract love into your life and to celebrate the love that you do have. You're going to have this energy with you for the first two weeks or so of this month. It will be under the light of the eclipse that Venus will change signs and move into the part of the sky that the eclipse takes place in. It is going to be at the end of the month, that beautiful full moon that I think is going to highlight matters having to do with how love can change you, how love can expand your horizons with the emotion of the time, but also a sense of excitement and freedom. So if it is that you are open to meeting someone new, the first two weeks, 
You are a magnet. It is that much easier to attract love into your life. Once we navigate further, your experiences in love and your connection to self-love are going to be intimately tied. Under the light of the full moon though, you may attract somebody very different than you've known before, whether it is that they see the world very differently or from a very different background, but in some way meeting them feels like it expands your horizons. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do love the energy in the first part of the month. Having Venus in your sign is such a blessing and it can help you to feel that much more loved that things are going that much more easily as well. If things feel like you're not so certain about this person, uh, especially in the beginning of the month, you've still got wonderful energy to be open to wherever it is that love may come your way. Once we navigate past the middle of the month, there is that connection, self-love and what is happening in romantic love being intimately tied. By the time we get to that full moon though, you may be asking this person or asking yourself what it is that you really believe and whether or not the two of you connect on that level and whether or not it's a deal breaker. For those of you who are in an established bond, this can be a powerful time. I love Venus in your sign for established bonds because it feels that much easier to be connected, to feel that sense of your partner showering love on you, which can be really nice. Once we navigate past the middle of the month, it may be you that is decidedly more generous towards your partner, but it does look like you have it to give. And at the full moon, it may be that you and your partner start to plan some grand adventure together. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's so much here. But I'm gonna say, even with the very big energies playing out, I love that full moon to end the month and thereby end the year. This is a part of the sky that is optimistic, that is enthusiastic, that invites you to see things from a larger perspective, but also invites you to consider what it is that you can put into place so that you can manifest bigger and better in the fullness of time. There is something to be said of being open to new experiences and it is gonna be that full moon that very quickly can bring the excitement of new ways of considering the world around you and thereby considering yourself. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.